Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, your host Matt, home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And I am catering to the audience today, giving you what you want. A YouTube question comes in from Arden Crandall. And this is on my Divi overview video, the one that I remastered. Uh, so thanks for everybody who has shown your kind support this time around. <laughs> Not one dislike on that video, but maybe there will be one after today just because I've mentioned it. But Arden says, hey, great video. You, you really taught me a lot about Divi. One of the things about Divi that happens is when you disable Divi theme, it drops in a bunch of short codes for all that layout that you created, the content that you put in, the, the media, all that stuff is dumped into short codes. And that becomes a real nightmare if you want to get away from elegant themes and Divi. Um, so Arden's question is, well, hey, Matt, uh, what about if I want to move over to Genesis, Studio Press themes? Can't I just install the Divi Builder plugin and that will work for me? Well, Arden, that's a great question. I did some research and the answer is yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> uh, for folks that don't know, Studio Press is probably one of the most recognized WordPress theme shops, studiopress.com. I did another video about uh, customizing Studio Press themes with Beaver Builder. And in fact, one of those plugins I used in that tutorial, we're going to use in today's tutorial to show you how to actually achieve this um, diviness with Studio Press themes. So let's dive right in. Let's take a look at it. Uh, here is Divi, and I'm using this nice big product feature layout so you can see that here's my homepage. Uh, this is a predetermined Divi layout, and I've already loaded it, okay? What happens when I switch over to any theme, but in this case, Studio Press or Genesis? So I'm gonna activate Genesis. I'm gonna show you what happens on the front end, and boom, this is what, what's known as short code hell. Right? Some of the content exists. Some of this text here is, uh, is available, but for the most part, you're not gonna comb through this stuff to preserve any of the content. You certainly lost all of your layout, um, and uh, it's no good. But like Arden mentions, hey, there's a builder plugin for Divi. It's called Divi Builder. But the issue is there's two issues. One, somebody might be wanting to move away from Divi altogether and Elegant Themes products. So what do you do then? Well, if, there's nothing you can do. I mean, if you know of another solution that scoops up all of those short codes and you know recreates your layout on any theme that you're switching to, by all means, post that in the uh, post that in the comments. Even 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 if you do know of something, it's probably going to be a patchwork of sorts. And it's not going to be 100%. Um, but in this case, we'll show you by activating the Divi Builder that we're going to restore that content and that layouts. However, Divi Builder hasn't met feature parity of Divi, Divi 3 theme. That is to say it doesn't have all of the, maybe not all of the features that you might find in the back end, but certainly, definitely not the front end builder, which is the biggest draw to Divi 3 theme to begin with, okay? So I've activated the Divi Builder. Again, you have to buy the Divi Builder if it's not part of your particular elegant themes plan. Double check that stuff. I think they encompass everything now for one yearly fee. So now the short code's gone. Our layout is back, almost. Now I've already set Genesis to show full width here, but by default, Genesis shows content sidebar. So it's even more compressed. So this is the issue. Sure, Divi Builder plugin displays that Divi layout and that Divi controlled content. But Divi Builder doesn't know where the edges of a given theme is. It can't. It, that's a very difficult uh, technological hurdle that I don't think anybody can, uh, can bridge. So what I'm about to show you is a plugin called Genesis Dam Buster that will open up the full width edge-to-edge um, -edge screen, edge, you know, screen edges of a, of a, of a website but it's only going to work for the Genesis themes and the Studio Press themes and only for the ones that the Genesis Dam Buster plugin supports. Um, that's because it can tell the content to say, hey, I've, we've already written HTML and CSS for this particular theme, so give it full width. You know, sadly, if you're not moving to a Genesis theme, um, you know, Dam Buster is probably not going to work for you. And again, I haven't tested this at every nook and cranny and mobile responsiveness because Genesis Dam Buster was originally built to support Beaver Builder 
and Studio Press themes to go full width. Okay, so enough rambling. Uh, let's see what happens when we activate that. I'm going to go back to all pages. I'm going to go to the home page. And whoops, I actually have to, sorry, I forgot to, uh, forgot to enable the plugin. So I'm going to activate Genesis Dam Buster. That's now active. I'm going to go back to the page, home page. I'm going to edit the home page. My seat is creaking. It's driving me crazy. Um, by default, it, it's, it's disabled. So what you want to do is, you know, it's going to drop in this little meta box area. Genesis Dam Buster, you're going to say enable the tweaks. That's what they call it. A little strange. But I'm going to enable those tweaks. And then I'm going to say template width. Yes, it's I want a full width page on this page. And one other quirky thing it does is it removes the header by default, which is, you know, nine times out of ten going to remove your navigation widget, or at least in this Genesis core theme it does. So um, I uncheck that so that your, your header can show up, okay? And now uh, you can see here, here's the Divi Builder in the back end. Remember, there's no front end builder with the Divi Builder plugin. I'm going to hit update. I'm going to view the page. And there you have it. Our uh, Divi theme is now full width. This is a Genesis theme. Uh, this is actually Genesis core. So again, uh, your mileage may vary depending on what uh, Studio Press theme you're using with Genesis Dam Buster. I just realized I'm wearing my headphones for absolutely no reason. Um, <laughs> uh, and you can see here, there's some widgets uh, sidebar that I have loaded up here in the header. Uh, that's just in the widget section. But I was able to move away from Divi, move into Studio Press themes, and the lighting is changing because now I'm getting this terrible shadow. Um, but now you can see full width and it's working wonderfully. You are just still going to be locked into Elegant Themes and the Divi Builder because of the shortcode stuff. And that's the way to transition from Divi 3 to Studio Press. Uh, you need Genesis, or excuse me, you need a Genesis theme or Studio Press theme. Those are those are premium themes. You need the Divi Builder plugin, which you can get from Elegant Themes, which is going to come at a cost uh, or included in your Divi plan already. And you'll need this plugin here, Genesis Dam Buster, again, primarily built for the Beaver Builder page builder. Your mileage may vary. Let me know. Post in the comments how you make out. That's it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope, I hope you learned something. I hope you're able now to move away from Divi into a studio. I'm not saying move away from Divi, uh, but if, the, if your particular uh, project calls for it, uh, maybe this is one way uh, to move over from Divi 3 theme into a Genesis theme and salvage those page builder layouts. It's PluginTut.com, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, share it with friends and family. It's much appreciated. I'll talk to you next time.